Let me guess. Terry, I need you to talk me out of doing something stupid. Blonde or brunette? Redhead, actually. Oh, dog, dog, dog. You don't do so great with redheads. Claudine. Y yeah, and what did that get you? A son, for starters. Who you haven't even seen since his voice changed. Is it my fault his mom's stationed in Japan? <laughs> right, not like you get to fly for free or anything. I only like flying when I'm the one sitting in the pilot's chair. Hey, save your lines for the ladies, Captain Perry. And no more redheads, all right? Uh, hold on. I got another call. Hello? Dad! I don't know what to do! I... I... Robbie? Slow, slow down. What's the matter? It's Mom. There's something wrong with Mom. Okay. Okay. D did you call base emergency services? All the lines are down. It's, people are killing each other. Mom tried to kill me. I... Ro Robbie? Rob! Got my magic phone robot now. Say some stuff. Oh, damn it, uh, Rob. Uh, I hope you're safe. I, I don't know what's happening over there in Japan, but if it is anything like here, just, just please, please call me back as soon as you get this message. Rob, you all right? Things got bad at the base. What what happened to your mom? She went crazy. They all did. She tried to kill me. I I, I didn't mean to hurt her. I didn't have a choice. Oh, I'm so sorry, son. What's happening, Dad? I don't know. But whatever it is, you have to stay alive. I'm coming for you, Rob. I promise. No, I'm halfway around the world. How are you gonna- That's my problem. But something something's happening. I, I gotta go. Find someplace safe and call me when you do. But Dad. Promise. I promise. We'll talk soon.
Anyone there? Hello? It's good to hear voice, pal. My name's Doug Perry, I'm in Denver, and I am not dead. Well, Doug Perry, I'm Troy Taylor, and I fly a trauma hawk. Medical chopper? That's right. And if you can get to me, I can get us out of here. I guess I'm playing hero today. Doesn't sound like an official evacuation effort. No official anything, man. It's all gone. Rome is burning. All right, well, I appreciate the help. I'm on the roof of the Chauncey Tower. I'm gonna take off before dark because there's no air traffic control anymore. And hell if I'm flying blind at night. Copy that. I just got another call. Maybe three of us make it out today. See you soon, if you don't get yourself killed. Thanks for the show of faith. Troy. Still alive? For the moment. That other caller. Any luck? They got her while she was calling me. I heard the whole damn thing. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Any idea what's happening? I don't know. Seems to be some kind of infection. Infection? Yeah, it comes fast, too. Like, we're talking eight seconds. They get their teeth into you, it's over, man. Eight seconds? Seen them turn. Seen the light go out. Doug, you packing? I didn't get this far just by being pretty. Then save a round for yourself. Know what I'm saying? Can't give up. Gotta get to my son. Then don't get bit and get your butt up here. <laughs> Doug, where you at? You always run this late. Hey, my on time fly record's the best on the active roster. You a fly boy too, huh? Ex Air Force. Now just commercial liners. Well, don't that just give me a hell of an idea. Love to hear it. Didn't have much of a plan past get off this roof, but the Hawk, she won't get us that far. Now a jumbo jet. Exactly. Well, you get me to the airport and I can keep us in the air. But I gotta tell you, there's only one place I'm headed. My son. So where's he at? Kyoto. Japan? Mother... <sighs> well, what's that, a 15-hour flight? Give or take. Fifteen hours without dealing with these mother hubbards, and I get first class all to myself. No meal service, though. That'll work. Got nowhere better to go. I don't know what I'm seeing. Fly closer. Closer? You out your damn mind. Hey, you helped me. You gotta pay it forward, right? You one crazy son of a... How are we gonna get that bird in the air? One of us is gonna have to fill her up. You mean fuel? And today it's self-serve. Mother!
Rob. Dad, we got off the base. We? The me and some other survivors. We're at Nijo Castle. The castles were built for sieges, right? I'm glad you got your mother's smarts. Rob, I got a plane. I'm coming to Kyoto. Dad, you should find somewhere safe. My only job now is to keep you safe. Oh, some of the soldiers from the base survived. They're coming to the castle. Said they'll protect us. Good. Robbie, I'll see you soon. Fly safe, Dad. Always do. Cut you free. Hold still. Hurry, please. I'm Doug. Who are you? I am Yvette. Do you always cut so slow? Doing my best here. Redheads. The Z's are attracted by sound, so try not to make so much noise. Z's? Those who have turned. Follow me. I know of a safe place. I'm looking for my son, Rob. He said there were survivors here. Robert? I know him. The survivors came here, yes, but the soldiers came after. They took all the medic assigned to a United Nations peacekeeping force. From here, I can call to see if any of my unit is alive and can help us. I have to go find my son. I have a cell phone. You call me if you need me. Here's the number. This door behind me. Don't let anyone in unless it's me. Be safe, dog. Colonel Getri is a very dangerous man. I'm inside. I got this place rigged like a pharaoh's tomb. That was the soldiers. Gethry's men. I don't get it. I served with Gethry. Even saved his bacon once or twice. He was never capable of this kind of thing. He is now, believe me. Are you a pilot? Flew here from the States to get my son. I have a brother. He is back home in Paris. He says he and some others are safe underground. But I must go help him. Can you take me there? You have to understand, Yvette. I'm here for Rob. I want to help you, but I have to find someplace safe for him first. The Paris Underground is safe. Emile says so. We'll see. I have to go. Gotta save the battery. Okay. I keep trying the radio. Hello? Douglas Perry. Jacob Gethry. That's Colonel Gethry to you. Really? Sounds to me like you've gone rogue. How'd you know I was here? You've seen by now how we've got the place rigged. You think we don't have cameras, too? So you let me untie the girl. Wanted to give you a chance to join the winning team. 
Tying civilians to trees as bait? Working them to death? It was their choice every time. They could have done the smart thing and signed up for active duty. So, you're recruiting for your own personal army? The People's Army. Discipline. Order. Structure. Anyone who doesn't submit needs to be culled from the herd. Someone's been reading too much Joseph Conrad. You'll see, Doug. When you've been through what I've been through, you will know the truth. Which is? That you can either make a sacrifice, or be the sacrifice. <laughs> Hang on, Rob. I'll get you free. Be careful. You forgot to clear the corners, cadet. Get down! Ah! Oh! Oh! You okay? Uh, he shot me! I tell you to be careful. You said you're a medic. Rob's been shot. Can you help him? I have supplies hidden. Son of a... I know. I know it hurts, son. But you've got to go with Yvette. She'll help you. I have an inbound chopper, member of my unit. We have to get to the courtyard. None of us are safe until I get rid of that nut job. Who knows what else he might do? Dad, no! I'll be fine, son. You go with the vet. I'll meet you in the courtyard. Guthrie, I have to end this. Then? We both die. Where's the chopper? We had to take off because of the explosion. Oh, man, why does this keep happening to me? Just once, I'd like the chopper to be here, waiting. We're circling around. We'll be back in a few minutes, but you made a lot of noise in there. Hey, don't blame me. That was all Gethry. You've got some hostiles approaching. I see him. to Kansai International Airport. People here are going north to the ice caves. They say the Zs can't move well in the cold. If we were smart, that's where we'd go. No, we have to help Yvette's brother. She helped us. We owe her. For her family. Yeah, I get it. You okay back there, Dad? I'm great. I find the closest unlocks for underground. I don't know where Hamil is. When we get down there, we will have to search for him. Underground sounds better than in the open. Mert, we have what you ambassadors for company. Not exactly the Moulin Rouge. Well, you all know Hugh and McGregor. I'll cover you. Get that grate open.
Rob? Vet? Ah, no reception. Viva la revolution. Hello, is there anyone out there? Parlay anglais. American? My accent really that bad? I came here with two survivors. We're underground and I found your HQ. Oh, that's not good. No? No, we are in the middle of an operation. We're going to blow a hole under an armory, get ourselves more guns. That sounds like good news. If you've survived this long, you know that loud noise attracts them. Yeah, but they're all up top at street level. Not all of them. You gotta be kidding me. If you're in our base, they're going to come your way. Can you defend the position? If I have to. You have to. The charges are going to blow. I have to go. Call me back when you're safe. No, no, wait! Oh, wonderful. Good. We hit a gold mine. AKs and enough rounds to fight another world war. I think we already are. I'm looking for someone named Emil. Do you know him? Oui. He's here. He's going out to plant some charges. Explosives? Part of the plan. What plan? Now, Emil will tell you. Move us to clicks. You find him in the maintenance room. Sounds charming. Good luck, American. West. Just follow the setting sun. All right. I'm in a sewer. Hey, what happened? Where are you? We ran when we got on the ground. We thought you were behind us. We find utility room. We are safe for now. I stitch up your son, but he can't move for a while. Okay, as long as you're fine, you'd probably best stay there. I got a lead on your brother. Emil, he is alive? It seems that way. He's part of some big plan. What kind of plan? Uh, that's what I'm gonna find out. I'll call you when I get to him. Okay, thank you, Doc. For what? Most people just think of themselves. Two days ago, I was most people. I take care of your son. Talk soon. Hey! I'm looking for Emil. Et voila! You find him. The voice from the radio. Guilty, as they say. You are uglier than I thought you'd be, American. I seem to get that a lot. I came here with your sister. With Yvette? Why did you not say so before? I didn't know who I was talking to. She is safe? She's in a secure location, helping my son. I can go get her once I know what we're doing. What's this big plan all about? We have big problem. Yeah, the dead walking the earth, infecting the living. A more specific problem. A herd approaches our location from the north. A herd? Yes. You see how they mess up? I saw hundreds of them pile up to take down choppers. Now imagine hundreds of thousands of them. They tend to gather in large numbers, like a herd. Then they all head in the same direction. Flocking behavior. Sounds more like a storm. That is exactly it. A storm approaches. And with those numbers, we are not safe. They will destroy all in their path. We have to get out of here. We have many survivors. We have a convoy ready to go at the Place de Carousel. But there are children, old people, sick people. We go south across the Seine. The bridge is a bottleneck. We do not have enough time. So how do you stop a mass of hundreds of thousands of them? Like the Chinese, we make a wall, but with bombs instead of bricks. The charges you said you were planting. Exactly. I flunk out of school as a civil engineer, but I learn enough. We have lined up the charges along the route and young Casanova, but we need to finish. No holes in the wall. How much time do we have? Not enough. We need more men. Let me help. I've handled explosives before. Good. There are charges in the pack next to you, along with coordinates. Radio detonated. All you do is place an arm, then report back here. Let's do it. Bon chance. Doug, you made it. What was that? <sighs> Human error. Something our enemy does not have. Headsets working? We're good. Five by five. You okay, son? Hanging in there. Emil, how are we doing? Not good. That storm front we discussed. Coming in faster than we planned. So what do we do? 
I get on the radio, we get as many survivors here as we can. Good. Doug, we must defend this position. Get on your hands free, everyone. We must stay in contact. Let's do it. Rob? Dad, don't! I always thought we'd have time for me to fix things. To get to know each other. We have time! Dad, get to the caravan! We'll leave now! If I don't fix this, now, then no one leaves. Stay with Yvette. She's family. Dad, please don't do this! Rob, if I could do it all again, I'd change every part but you. I love you, Dad. Paris. The city of light.